Welcome everybody to the channel. So we are back here at the job in Okeechobee. Uh, we already started flying the trusses. I was stuck in another job and I'm just not getting here and it is 341. So uh, we're gonna go check out on what they have done so far, but I know they were flying the trusses with this uh, forklift machine. Uh, so let's go check that out. I don't know if you guys can see from this distance, but they have the some of the trusses up. I thought they were gonna have most of them up, but nope. <laughs> All right, let's go check that out. Right, guys just like you guys just saw here on the drone uh, we're using this forklift to lift up our trusses to raise them up and put them in place making sure one person is holding it so he can kind of guide it a little bit and it won't like fly and swing off to one side as two guys up there uh, strapped down to the top um, so yes that's what we're doing today we are working on our trusses uh, flying all our trusses should take us about a week and after that we will start putting the sheathing on top <clears throat> and another cool thing that this is gonna have it's gonna have like a decorative uh cypress uh stuff that sticks out from the roof that comes out here this way and we also have to design a <clears throat> truss that's gonna go on the front and on the rear of the building as well look i'll show you over here on the architectural plan so I don't know if you guys can see right here. We have this is something that we have to design here on site. This is not something that the trust company will build. You have to actually build this yourself. So especially most of the people that are doing these uh, planning, uh, bidding these plans, make sure you look at every single detail. It will tell you this is going to be built on site. The trust company doesn't supply this, or ask the contractor or the the builder, or the owner whomever it is to give you uh, the truss layout, the engineering, so you can make sure if this is coming with the trusses or if you're gonna supply the trusses, you will know. Um, also, on every end, this is what I was talking about. You have these little designs that stick out. Let's go over to the typical wall section so you can see that. Right here, it's telling you that it's, this is a, it's gonna be a cedar you're telling me what kind of uh, straps are we using. We're going to use flat straps and twisted straps um, to hold down the trusses. But yeah, this is a Raptor tail extension that we're going to use here. And we have to go in uh, 2 feet, 8 inches on the truss. But I think we might end up going 3 feet. A little bit more stronger. It doesn't have to be that. We can always go 3 feet. It doesn't matter. Uh, but this is that little uh, Raptor tail extension that we're adding to every single truss. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Hey, welcome back everybody. We are back here at this job in Okeechobee where we're flying the trusses. They are basically done already. Like I said, we were using a fork lift machine to fly these trusses up and we are already done. The only thing that we're waiting on for is the, it's like a decorative raptor that goes on these trusses before we can even put the sheathing on top of it. So that's the only thing that's holding us back. We're supposed to have this here. Uh, they said probably Tuesday, today's Monday. So hopefully we do get it tomorrow so that way we can install that, put the sheeting, the fascia, and just be done with it so that way we can call an inspection. So that way they can do the drying for this building and we can proceed on. As you guys can see right here, And as you guys can see, there's like a little opening right there. There's supposed to be three windows uh, that have to go in there. Uh, so that's why we have that little opening space. We don't know yet the measurements and they're gonna be basically custom since on the planet didn't call for them. So we're gonna have to measure it, make sure everything's individually like divided in between all three windows. So that way we can have the right sizing and the right framing for these windows. So that's the only thing, like I said, I'm just giving you guys an update and we will be back here as soon as we get that material so we can install those uh, decorative rafters and start putting the sheathing on it and call it for inspection. Welcome back everybody. We are back here at this job in Okeechobee with the barn with no loft. Uh, so we are back here and as you guys can see, they finished up doing the sheathing on top. They did those uh, decorative extension tails for the rafters. Yeah, they basically buttoned up everything already. So we are basically ready for an inspection. That way we can go ahead and proceed on with this job and we can start putting the siding. We still gotta put a blue barrier on this that we're gonna roll on and then the wrap and then we start doing the siding uh, for this barn right here. So we're trying to move along as fast as we can but doing everything correctly so that way you know we don't have no problems with the inspector or down the road. But other than that guys this is gonna complete the video for today. We'll be back here as soon as we start putting that roll on on the exterior walls that wrap and then we start doing the siding so that'll be our next video for this project here we'll catch you guys on for the next video